having a replica of the Orloff uh, gem uh, presented quite a challenge mathematically. What you have here is a stone whose uh, circumference is enclosed by 36 facets. I don't have an index gear that will handle 36 facets. So I used a piece of software called Conversion that I wrote and which you can download free on my website at thegemconnection.com and what it will do is take the addresses that are normally established for a stone of this fold symmetry and convert it to any index gear you want and give you new trigger addresses. So I went to my computer and I said I'd like to take a 32 notch gear and use it to cut 36 notches or notch addresses around the stone. The computer spit out the numbers for me so then I came back here, turn on the computer, dial in the address that it gives me, pick the proper angle and now I'm polishing that finished stone. Here in the last steps of cutting one of the famous diamonds of history and we're doing it with a 32 index gear and all I do is follow the numbers that are spit out and then use the angle slot that's required to drop in the rows one two three four five rows of uh, facets. At the same time, when I cut the top, I didn't mention this is normally a rose cut, but this is not a rose cut because it doesn't occur over from top to side to side, that there are two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine elongated star facets that encompass the table. So they had to be cut too, way up here, when the crown was being cut. Now the last of the facets has been polished and the stone is ready to take off the dop stick and we will have a finished replica of the famous Orloff diamond cut in white yag, new yttrium aluminum garnet, a man-made synthetic garnet with good high optical qualities and capable of returning a lot of brilliant white Russian white. Orloff diamond. 199.6 carats which now resides on the Imperial Scepter in the diamond treasury in the Kremlin. It's a very who died in poverty. As I say the stone now resides where Catherine mounted it on the great Imperial Scepter. It's one of the great exciting diamond and meets all of the lore that has come to be uh, understood with famous diamonds. In 1750, near Trichinopoly in India, an idol in a cave had two eyes made of diamonds. A French grenadier who had deserted the army plucked the Orloff diamond out of the eye, made it to the coast, and sold it to a ship captain who then sent it uh, to London. From there it traveled to Persia, then to Amsterdam where the diamond ultimately cut was sold to Prince Orloff. Orloff purchased the diamond with, with one thing in mind, to make a gift to Catherine the Great in hopes that she would restore him uh, to his previous rank as top lover. Catherine accepted the great diamond gratefully but did not restore Orloff who died in poverty. As I say, the stone now resides where Catherine mounted it on the great imperial scepter. It's one of the great Russian treasures. It's a beautiful stone, difficult to cut because of the oddball uh, arranged facets, but that's what makes it so unusual.